I got the number wrong. The science behind the bed of nails. With one nail, it will pop. That's because the surface area, which we are applying pressure to, is super small. All of the pressure is distributed to one point. When there are hundreds of nails, we are distributing the pressure over a larger surface area, which is why the balloon doesn't pop right away. So, one nail has enough weight on it to break the balloon or skin if you were to be lying on a bed of nails. Why didn't I get hurt when the cinder block is broken on my stomach? One reason is due to the large number of nails, both weight and force of impact of the hammer, are distributed or over a large number of sharp points. As a result, the pressure at any one nail isn't enough to pierce through the skin. In addition, the cinder block is a massive, so it has high inertia. Inertia is a resistance of any physical object to change its motion. So if an object in motion wants to stay in motion and an object that is stationary wants to stay where it is. So the cinder block has a high inertia, so it won't allow the bed of nails to move much during the impact. Lastly, the kinetic energy of the hammer goes into breaking the cinder block, so very little of that energy is transferred to my body. If you were to hit the block with an incredible amount of force, you would definitely get pierced like that apple. Caution, help volunteers get on and off the bed of nails so that the volunteer does not apply too much pressure to a small area and get hurt.